Good day, everyone. Welcome to our ICH E6 GCP proposed revisions for 2016 review. The impact on sites, sponsors, and CROs. Our focus today is to do a high-level overview of the revisions for us, as well as to start targeting some discussion on where your gap analyses need to start to be looked at in your organizations. And you will then take this information and go back to your organizations and then determine what changes, if any, need to be made. And what I would like to share with you is that I've been in the industry for over 37 years in healthcare. I've been in clinical research for 26 years and many different positions, starting out as a research nurse, a CRA, study manager, compliance, training, performance management. I've spoken internationally on clinical quality management systems topics and compliance and training, and I hold a certification as a CRA through ACRP, as well as multiple training certifications. And I do have a significant passion for you today, and what I've done today as well, you will see in your slides, is I've embedded question slides because I often get so excited about this, I keep going, and I don't give you the opportunity to ask your questions, so we're gonna have you put those in into the chat box today. And our agenda is here on the slides for us, whereby we're going to do this welcome, have a learning objectives review again with you, and I'm going to ask you all a few questions to help me understand who is attending at your organizations some of your background with risk-based approaches to clinical trials. We're going to do a brief overview for the influencers for the revisions because we get a lot of questions from people to say, do you really think all of these revisions are going to come in? What do you think? Well, we all don't really know uh, after the comments were collated in June of this year, but we want to be able to share with you where the influencers are so we have a better idea of what we believe will be in there. Notably risk management and some of the benchmarking with that. We're going to do a targeted review. We're going to have on the screen for you a summary of the revisions and going to discuss that and provide a little bit more context to, for you on that. And then we're going to review next steps, a high level project plan for you to look at, a summary of what we did today and discussed, again, with questions interspersed throughout. I'm going to do a learning ob objectives review, and I also want to share with you that beginning on slide 131, you have what we have included for this webinar bonus slides. We've identified that working with a number of our clients is that some of the concepts in this guideline a lot of people may not be familiar with or have been practicing, such as quality by design, organizational quality management systems, zero vendor oversight programs in a more robust fashion. So we don't have enough time in this three hours together today to go through a lot of that in detail, but we've provided that to you. What we've also provided to you is in the back of the presentation are reference slides, but also you will notice at the end of each section where there are pertinent benchmarks and references for you, we've included those with the URL, the website location, so that you can go in and look at those documents for additional context and additional details. Because of just the time constraints, we're just not able to maybe get to some of the more in-depth areas that are nicely documented in a number of the reference documents. Our learning objectives today is that upon completion of this course, you should be able to, one, identify two reasons, what are two influencing factors for the proposed revisions. This again helps you navigate what we believe will stay inside of the guideline moving forward. Identify three changes, uh, these three, three changes can be interspersed between impacting the investigator and the sponsor responsibilities when compared to the current E6 guideline. And then also, can you then list three gap analysis areas or topics of everything we're gonna be presenting today and some proposed approaches for promoting compliance with the the proposed revision. And that is what we're gonna be talking about after each section as well. We're gonna have a nice summary slide to look at that for you. 